Hi and welcome to the channel. This is uh, Tyra. This is uh, the painting that I bought of Alibaba uh, with the teddy bears in the puppies. And it's um, a large painting, a uh, full drill uh, that I bought, I think it's around a month ago. So um, I just wanted to take you along and show you the last few drills that I placed on the canvas. Just to show you how clear the canvas as was and how easy it was to see the symbols on it. Um, this is uh, without uh, using a light pad that you see here. There's no light pad underneath and no light has been turned out or on. Um, I I had no struggles with seeing the um, uh, the print on it. Uh, it was very clear, and as you can see, uh, also the drills was very uniform on it. I didn't have uh, much trash and uh, didn't run out of any colors. Um, I I lost one color on the floor and didn't really bother to pick all of them up. So uh, um, I had some issues with uh, with this color, but uh, was able to pick uh, some up and uh, and find them or fill out the gaps. So I don't have much left of that color. Um, but um, that was not due to the producer's fault. Um, this is one of the velvet canvases. They are called a short length canvas. And um, so they're really soft on the back. It's a thick canvas and it's like a cloth, like a fabric that you would perhaps be able to stitch uh, on and perhaps, uh, yeah, turn into a pillow or whatever you would like. Um, I don't, uh, I don't particularly like that idea because I don't think that it's going to be very good with having two dogs and kids in the house and a cat. I uh, so um, for me it's going to be hang up, and um, and probably framed. But this is a a painting which would go really good into a a, a baby. Uh, playroom and I don't have any small children so uh, I don't know how and what I'm going to do it with it for now it's hanging out in our living room and um, not framed but uh, perhaps I know some people who's going to be happy about receiving this painting um, so yeah all in all it was really really good painting um, Pros, but I I think uh, that I'm going to show this to you now after I've finished the last few bits here, and then I'm going to go inside and show you the canvas in some good lighting, so you can see some of the uh, how it looks now, and I can just list the pros and the cons, uh, and then I. Th think if you are interested in getting one of these canvases I would go either through the China store or buy of um, I think she's called uh, if you're living in the States anyway uh, diamonds uh, healing through canvas or something by Catherine I think she's called um, she has these canvases for sale uh, and I think so here is the finished painting so um, take a look at the it's uh, I don't even remember so the size but we can just find it you. here it's a 73 times 60 centimeters painting and full drill round as I said um, and with some special beads here's his eyes uh, 
they're really really cute and then we have let's just go and see if you can find them here are some AB gems they're both in a light yellow and then there's this uh, dark purple color and down here we have a green here it is <laughs> um, a green green color which is uh, pretty and if you see from a top we zoom out it's a really sparkly painting um, beautiful colors it's really charted beautiful and I will say for round and I'm not round is not my favorite kinds but uh, for around, I think this is one of the best charted paintings that I've been working on. Um, it's like looking at a, a acryl painting or something with um, with uh, all the darks and uh, all the shading and so on has come out really, really nice. Um, if I have to say something which is a bit negative about this painting, I think, um, I think the most, most annoying thing has been the clear color cover. Um, yeah, it's just I don't really care for them. I I I like the pink one, but that's a preference. But it's a good quality though. Uh, and I really like that they've put a sticker on top of it. You can just see it here because I've got the other one lying underneath where they put a sticker on here. Um, one of the complaints I've heard about this brand is that uh, that uh, these colors isn't uh, in order, uh, that they are not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or in a number order. And I think after I've been working on it, I know why. It's simply because they want you to start down in the right corner and work your way up. And if you like, I can just show it on this one underneath here, the girl. I've just flattened her out. She's, she's just lying here and um, I don't know if I'm going to iron her uh, to get this fold out, but I think I'm just uh, just going to let her lie like I did with that one here. As you remember, it was folded and there's still a, a bit of a small fold on it, but you can't see it on this side. There's no indentions, no nothing on it after a fold. So it's completely flat, really, really beautiful. And as I you can see, I can just turn it to the side and it rolls over beautifully. Uh, this one here is from the bare eye. So you've got that on each side, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it here. So, um, but you can just turn them to the side and they lay, lay flat and perfect and down here if you've seen that it's because <laughs> I've had it hanging so they've just been hanging up uh, but anyway let's get back to this um, if I just put this pull this side so what they're saying is if you see here they're saying start here and if you go by numbers so the first one, instead of starting with kitting up your entire kit, as you can see here, there's a lot of colors in it. This one has a lot more colors, even though it's a partial, it has a lot of more, a lot more colors in it than um, the Teddy one. Uh, the Teddy one had, I think, about 30 colors, and this one, I think, has about 40, 50 colors, somewhere in, in, in between. But what they want is that they say start down here and follow the symbols. How? So how do you do that? You start with the H or chair, whatever it's going to supposed to be, and you find all the symbols 
for instance, if you take back this part and say, this is what I would like to drill. So then you can see up here, you've got ages and you've got all these. So you start with filling out all the ages. And then I, what I did afterwards is that I took my pots and just started using them, filled out with the number and the symbol. I didn't know, I didn't really need to, to find, uh, I didn't need to, uh, to have a number order on it. Uh, but that's again how you work. Then afterwards you'd go to T and say, do I have any T's in here? Let's go down here. Um, and no. There's no T's in here. So what I then did was I skipped it, just put, just made a, a, a sticker for it again, put it down there and isolate it. But what you could have done is if you go up then, you could have gone up to the top of her head because as you can see, when you fold this piece back, you have exposed some of her head. So you could go up and say, okay, I'm just going to do the tease up here then. And then, so that was the way, way you could work it. And then next time, these, do I have any these? Um, no, there's no these and this one. Yeah, there's a bit here, if you can see a small amount of these. And then you just work them and again, yeah, kit it up at the same time. I really like that way. Um, to me, it makes perfect sense that they've done that instead of you kitting it up. And then afterwards, you need to start on your painting because I really want to paint. I don't want to spend time on kitting the the canvas up um, too much. Some likes, like it and some uh, really think that it's enjoyable to kit up the canvas. and then you can do it and you can do it the, your way. But to me, the, the number orders uh, or the order of the symbols just makes perfect sense. And you are able and for, for instance, you have T's. I just saw them. I'm just being blind. So she's got a T here. So there's lots of T's. So, so you just follow along the symbols and when you don't have them you just put them inside save them for later um, and then after a while you have been drilling and you've been kidding up really really like the idea of it so so yeah um, one of the one of the the dislikes I have about the painting is they don't have DMC colors this is not DMC colors. They are nowhere near DMC colors. I tried because first of all, I thought that they've just put a zero or something uh, in front of them, but no, <laughs> they haven't. So, so forget about it. So if you want to, to save the drills, um, you need to, to, uh, have a DMC chart or yeah, compare them to whatever drills you already have and uh, and and match them up that way so that's the only thing which i don't like about this one but for many people this isn't even a issue because they don't keep their drills so so yeah uh so yeah uh, i'm really really happy about this painting i almost didn't do this video because i know there's a lot of people not liking this brand, really being offensive around about it and uh, saying that uh, really care about it because um, this is a really good brand. And uh, if you like it, buy it, try it. And, and uh, it's a really, really beautiful piece and you can buy it in America or in the States. If you're living in the States, I've linked to diamonds on canvas or what she's called below uh, or you can buy it uh, directly off the manufacturer uh, in China and um, 
and yeah, uh, try it yourself as you can see. A uh, really, really sparkly canvas. Uh, so yeah, uh, only cons is that uh, they don't have DMC colors and perhaps you don't really care for the painting because you don't like the um, the layout. It, it is very Chinese, all of their paintings. Um, I think that they or they are for the Chinese market. They're not really meant for us Western people, I think. Uh, so so that, that's why um, they haven't done all the works with kitting it up the way we wanted to have it kitted up with uh, and DMC colors and so on. Uh, this is uh, something that is done for the Chinese market, not directed towards us. Um, so yeah, but I hope that you like this uh, video and uh, <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you do. Give me a thumbs up if you don't, because I know there's going to be a lot of thumbs down on this can uh, this uh, this uh, view view just because it's one of those canvases, uh, and yeah, I don't really care <laughs> to be quite honest. You can give it the thumbs down you want to, and you can also just give me if you want to give the uh, give it the thumbs down. Try and explain why you're doing it. Because that's what is the most uh, the most uh, important thing for me is if you give it give it a thumbs down, try and write below why. That would be a really nice idea. So I know what you are concerned about. Have you ha have you tried this canvas? Have you have you just had a really bad experience with it, or what? what is the reason for you to giving to give it a thumbs down so yeah uh, otherwise i just want to say for me and for this channel it's all about having fun i don't want to be a part of some sort of yeah some sort of debate or some sort of i don't like or i do care for i don't live in the states so for me to buy all american that's really not an issue for me because I don't live at, in the state. I I live in Europe and <laughs> and I just want to find some good things that I can buy in Europe and where the quality is good and where we don't have to pay huge import fees or or uh, or other things. So so yeah. I'm happy about this canvas, so uh, so yeah. Um, that was me rambling along. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I to just to finish off uh, this video. Uh, I know I haven't been been too active lately. It's just that uh, with a new job and so on, uh, time hasn't been on my side. And at the same time, my husband and I have just been enjoying some time together. He's moved into my craft room and just, yeah. So, uh, so I haven't really had uh, time for, for doing too many videos, but I hope that I can do it, uh, do some more very soon. And I do have some American paintings coming. If they're going to come out of customs, they've been hanging in customs now for, I don't know, I think four or five, five days now. It's not uh, due to Diamond Eye Club, I think. I think it's due to our postal services. I'm not impressed, <laughs> to be quite honest. But uh, let's see what happens. And um, perhaps I need to contact Diamond Eye Club just to let them know how they can ship to Denmark or other Scandinavian countries a bit easier so they get through custom a bit faster because they're stuck for good I don't hope so but anyway take care uh, thanks for subscribing we're almost to 500 subscribers was really really hoping that we can get, get up to uh, those 
500 so we can do a giveaway i think i'm going to choose a painting from timney arts i think to send out to the winner perhaps the cat one or one of the round ones because they're so good and they are uh, a, a, a soft canvas on the back and not all people can afford these canvases or afford a diamond art club so um timney arts is a really really good uh chinese brand which uh, has done some really good uh, good brand good uh, canvases as well so i think that's going to be uh the winner prize or the prize for the winner but let's see when we get to the 500 i'm going to do the giveaway announcement so yeah i hope you had fun and i hope i didn't scare you too much with my tiny rant uh so but uh, take care talk to you soon see you in my next video hopefully bye for now